In part one, we talked about replacing the SSD drive and the memory. Part two, we're gonna put this little puppy right in. It's called the Data Doubler, where you can put your old hard drive in where the DVD-ROM was. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. Think Magazine, put in a geek, you've got Geekazine. And the Geek Smack Review, where we review products, we show you some technical insight, do some interviews, and a whole bunch more. Today, our friends at OWC have brought me a package and said, hey, install this in your machine, make some videos on it, and and and, and we'll go from there. And I said, yeah, that's, that's a great idea. You know, I could always use an upgrade to my machine. So what we did in the first video, I showed you how how to put the memory and I had eight gigabytes of memory in the machine. Now I have 16 gigabytes of memory for more uh, more stuff to do, uh, more applications to have open when I'm working. And then I also replaced my hybrid hard drive with an SSD hard drive from OWC and I showed you that in the first video. Now in the second video I'm going to show you how to replace the DVD drive with your old hard drive to, or maybe another SSD to give you more memory inside the machine because let's face it how many of you actually use the dvd drive in fact i can't tell you the last time that i actually use the dvd drive but the cool thing is they do have a solution and that solution is right here it's the value line super slim where we're going to end up putting the dvd drive in and it'll become a usb dvd drive for whenever i need it we can also do that with the hard drive we've got right here the owc express which is uh which is a hard drive enclosure to turn it into a usb 3.0 hard drive but in this case what we're going to do is we're going to take the dvd drive out and we're going to replace it with this right here it's called the data doubler and this is what it looks like I'm going to show you overhead here this is the data doubler and I've already got the SSHD my hybrid uh, uh, old hybrid hard drive in there uh, set up and ready to go I've also put a couple screws in because they're kind of small I'll show you how to do that and of course for each uh, for each installation of a MacBook or a MacBook Pro it really depends so this is going to be your next friend your friend for the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes read it first before you go opening up and doing stuff because there's a lot of screws in here and a lot of them are very small in fact I've got all the screws sitting in this little plastic bin I used for that I pulled out the memory for they're just sitting there ready to go back into the MacBook so let's show you how to pull it out of at least this MacBook and go from there all right, so now we're back in our MacBook. As you can see, we have our SSD drive. We have the memory right there. We do want to ground ourselves, so touch a metal and touch metal so you don't get any electric shocks if you have carpeting, if it's a dry time of the season or whatnot. It's kind of humid out here, so I'm not too worried about it. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that all the cables, because right this cable was, was sitting flat like this, and then we had a cable right here which actually went to the DVD drive. That needed to pre be pried open or pried off. It's really straightforward all you have to do is kind of take your fingernail and work it up back and forth walk it out nice and slowly so it doesn't lose its connection and then uh, and then you'll be able to put it right back there there was another cable I had to worry about and that was this very small cable right here where I had to pull out because there was a screw down there that I had to take out so in the uh, in the early 2011 model um, what I had to do is I had to pull this one out and this one out. In some cases, you might have to pull this cable out, which goes to the hard drive, but I didn't have to do that. I popped these up, and then I took a screwdriver. And by the way, in this, in this data doubler kit, you actually get a set of screwdrivers, a flat head of Phillips, and a small and uh, enlarged uh, star head, as, long, as well as a pull tool. I've got one of the, them of myself from doing multiple different uh, installs and, and stuff like that. This is a handy tool to have around because it's not metal, but of course also, also very important, be gentle with what you're doing because this is electronics here. So, all right, so we'll reground once again. Okay, next thing I did was I took out the screws, one right here and there was one right here. In some models, the two screws are gonna be right here. There was a third screw not in this case, but uh, okay, we had two screws right here. So, and once I popped this up and popped those two screws up, this piece became flexible. Now, inside there were three screws, one right here, one right here, one right here, which I had to pull up, and those are the ones that are sitting in this, uh, this bin right here. And once that happened, they, uh, everything was ready to come right up. 
And that's what I did. I just took my finger and brought it up like that and brought the DVD drive out. Now, before we get the data doubler in, we had to make one more adjustment here, and that's this piece right here, this little metal piece right here. What I did was I had to take it off the DVD drive, and these were very small screws, so, and they can kind of be kind of a little bit tough, so what I did, uh, tough to pull out. So what I did was I took one screw and then this plate and the screwdriver, and I started with this screw. I didn't go all the way, and this is enough so this could kind of be like a hinge and going back and forth. Then I popped this screw into the, into the hole and gently brought it over and then put it into place, took my screwdriver and tightened it up. And then of course tightened up this one. Let's just make sure I've got these all tightened up because this is what's going to hold this into the drive. So now I've got th that piece set up. And once again, depending on which MacBook you have, uh, this this uh, this piece might be needed. This piece might not be needed. So, in the day, and that's where the instructions all come in for there. Now, in the data doubler, I bring that in, and I'll bring that right into the hard drive, just like that. Watching out for that wire. There we go. And it sets down. Actually, I forgot to do one thing, and that's back at this hard drive. We have the piece. This is actually, if you pull this off, these are these are SATA connections. Although the power looks to be a little bit smaller than a standard power SATA connector, but this little piece right here is what we need. So we'll put the they'll put the DVD drive back. We'll bring this back out. There we go. And then we'll take that piece and we'll set that right in there. So now we've got the ribbon cable ready to go. We'll put that right back in, minding that cable once again. And we're good to go. Now all we have to do is take the screws, line them in place, put them in, and put this all together, put the ribbons back in place, and then we're done. The hard drive, of course, uh, I put in, it, it, it slid in just like a regular SATA hard drive. Two screws on the sides, um, nothing on the other side there, but uh, of course it's pretty stable this way. So the hard drive is now mounted and set. We can put it all back together, we can put the hood back on, and we can use this as a second hard drive. And that's it. We've got this DVD drive left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the super slim hard drive case, which I'll show you in a different video and get it back together. In the meantime, I'm going to put this back together. In the next video, we're going to show you some of the differences that this has at, over the old, even with the hybrid hard drive that I had there, how much faster, how much better this is going to be so I can actually use this for doing my videos uh, easily on the road. Jeffrey Power is here with Geekazine and the Geek Smack Review. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, simply Twitter me over at Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in a geek. Geekazine at gmail.com is the email address. And uh, let me know what you want to see, what you want to hear. If you want me to review something, let me know as well. And then we'll go from there. I'm going to get this all back together. We'll see you at the next video where I show you how to put the DVD drive into the super slim case. You guys geek out and take care.